Welcome back to Doctrines 2 as we continue on our study of systematic theology and the doctrine of soteriology, the doctrine of the application of redemption. We're going to ask this question now, what about those who do not persevere to the end? What about those who apostate themselves and say at one point that they believe in Jesus Christ and that they're saved, and then later on in life or later on down the line, they say, I do not believe in Jesus Christ. I am no longer saved. I do not believe that anymore. Uh, what about those who do not persevere to the end? <clears throat> what about those? How do, what does the Bible say about those? Only those who persevere to the end have been truly born again. In other words, they were never truly saved to begin with because they didn't really believe. Uh, who, look at 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 5. Who, by God's power, are being guarded through faith for a salvation ready to be, to be revealed in this last time. In other words, they're being guarded through that continual gift of faith that God gives. In other words, they believed before because God gave them the ability to believe. They're going to continue, if they are truly saved, to continue to have that ability to believe. Uh, they're being guarded through that faith for salvation. It's God's power who is who is giving them that faith, God's power, who is guarding them uh, uh, because that, and that salvation is going to be revealed at the last time. Uh, we're guarded, uh, we're not guarded apart from faith. And that's, remember what we've said all along, that that faith is not in faith. That faith is not in uh, my Christian life. It's not in even in the fact that I believe. And I say, well, I, I'm a Christian because I believe. What are you believing? Who are you believing? And ultimately, this faith is in the power of God itself to save you through the blood of Jesus Christ. It's God says, this is how you get saved. I trust that God is right. And because of that, I'm trusting in the finished work of Christ on the cross to save me. Uh, I cannot be saved apart from that. I cannot be guarded apart from that. Uh, and so that, sa that saving faith that we've talked about all along is necessary for perseverance just as much as it's necessary for, uh, for salvation to begin with. But remember, that faith came from God himself. Uh, and it's his power that saves. It's therefore his power through faith that perseveres. John, How about John chapter 8? If you abide in my word, you are truly my disciples. Uh, as Jesus is speaking to those around him, he's saying that only if you abide in my word were you ever truly my disciples. In other words, there are people who are my disciples now who are not truly my disciples. And the only way you know the difference between whether they're truly my disciples or not is if they abide in my word. How about this one? Uh, and you will be hated uh, by all for my name's sake, but the one who endures to the end will be saved. He's not saying here that you are responsible for enduring to the end in order to be saved. He's saying the one who endures to the end will be the one who was saved all along uh, and will have, will obtain that salvation because they were of the elect, they were of the, uh, of the saved all along. Okay. How about Colossians chapter one? Uh, he has now reconciled his body of flesh to it by his death in order to present you holy and blameless and above reproach before him. If indeed you continue in the faith, stable and steadfast, not shifting from the hope of the gospel that you heard, which, I, which has been proclaimed in all creation under heaven, and of which I, Paul, became a minister. So notice here, if indeed you continue in the faith, uh, then you'll know that he's going to present your body, you holy and blameless and above reproach before him. But only if you persevere to the end. So only those who have persevered to the end are those who are blameless, those who are saved. Hebrews chapter 3, verse 14. For we have come to share in Christ, if indeed we hold our original confidence firm to the end. <clears throat> now again, these are not conditional statements, as in, if you do this, then you will be saved, because that would then introduce works-based salvation. 
if I well, I'm now in charge of persevering to the end. No, these are conditional, as in uh, only if you've con uh, you've endured to the end, uh, or or here uh, holds your original confidence firm to the end. Can we be sure that you are of the elect uh, all along? In other words, if you don't, then you weren't a part of the a part of the elect from the beginning. Uh, we should not think that assurance that we, that we belong to Christ is impossible until we die. That doesn't mean that we can't have assurance now of our salvation. Uh, that's not well. I don't know if I will if I will or not because if again. If it's depending on me, if my salvation depends on me enduring to the end, I'm not going to make it. My, my salvation is dependent upon him saving me to the end. And only if I, say, if I endure to the end will I know that, yes, in fact, I, I was saved for sure. But there's certainly assurance that can be had throughout our life. Continuing in faith is one means of that assurance. In other words... Do you believe now? Have you believed? Not necessarily have you ever doubted, but rather, do did you trust in Christ to begin with? Are you trusting Christ now? That's a pretty good assurance that you will continue to believe later. The purpose of these passages is to warn those who are thinking of falling away or who have fallen away that this is a strong indication that they were never saved in the first place. Uh, it's been said this way before, that if you can so easily disbelieve today what you say you believed yesterday, then you didn't really believe it yesterday. First John chapter 2, they went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would have continued with us. But they went out that it might become plain that they were not of us. Uh, they all are not of us. In other words, those who go out from the faith were never truly a part of the faith to begin with because they were never truly of us. That's what we have for this video. We'll continue on with the next video to talk about our assurance of salvation.